Dave came along when he was a bass player, and now as I was speaking about the. We, we were aware of Kevin Dunleavy and um, Claire Walsh. No, what happened was we used to do a lot of sessions. Well, he'll do me, he'll do you. We got that kind of love. Oh, Lord, I don't know what I'll do, but they call me sweet baby. Such a beautiful dream. I got to thinking it over. So he came into the band as well at yeah. that stage then? Yeah. With and the Congas? Or the Baron? Baron initially, Baron. Then, he, then he got a birthday present of the Congas, I think. Um. <laughs> 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 what did you get for your birthday, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was right. And, Lovely uh, present, Mara. Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> no, Kim was delighted. I remember when. My had hid them in the car. And That's right. Yeah. It was good. <laughs> we, um, we dropped them from a, a three-story window on them. That was good. Um, Neve. Who's Neve? Yeah. Yeah. But she actually probably she was in before um, Kevin and, um, and and Claire. Neve was in before. She was, well, she in was the doing sessions. sessions you she see, was doing yes. sessions. Yes. And she was just playing the bow on. She wasn't singing. That's right. Occasionally playing in the whistle. And then one day, I don't know, she sang and we said, "Get out." <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, that's good again. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's brilliant. So she's, so good. Yeah, she's an organizer too, isn't she? Uh, You're the organizer, but no, no, but she's, she's very good. And well, she's, she, she, does she stops the fights as well. Yeah, she does. Dave came along and he was the punk bass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and he models himself on Sting. Definitely. Definitely. He, definitely. He, he, he's a great fan of Sting yes. and um, loves Sting. Yeah, so he was great. And the only problem with Dave is that when he had a few beers, his timing went. So we always had to make sure that we rationed him so that the two beers was near the end of the gig. And then he could do what he liked. Isn't that's that true? true? That's true. Yeah. Perfect. And he was renowned for wearing very strange headgear. And getting weird tattoos all <coughs> over his body. Weird tattoos and something else as well. Leather, L leather and funny shoes. Funny shoes. Yeah. Famous yeah. for funny you know, shoes. Funny, funny shoes. Fo Couldn't play the face, fetish. but shoe, shoe fetish, fetish yeah. basically. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We went to Bahrain Man. with that bunch. I think yeah. Jed and Karen mm -hmm. and yeah. Karina. Karina. Karina came late, late, later, and that was the third time in Bahrain because we went three times to Bahrain and we got our instruments impounded at the airport mm -hmm. every single yes. time. And who had to sit with the instruments? Well, everybody else was getting pissed. Was it you? Uh, oh, only the one. Only once. Yeah, I was well, left on my own the first time, and yeah. it was about six hours. Yeah, it's only six that. hours. I've forgotten that. <laughs> it's only six hours. The second time. Yeah, well, yeah, when I arrived and everyone was pissed. <laughs> They're all in a good mood. There was me. Ah, uh, the children watching this DVD. I'm um, sorry. About that. You only come to town about twice a year. And Would the other one was we played on the Kish the, Air. On, on Kish Air. We went on to the airplane, this little rickety Iran Air thing, yeah, Kish Air. With all the hand luggage uh -huh. instruments, and there was absolutely no room to store There was no room. No so room. we had to take them on with us. And this girl, lovely girl, yeah. on the way in, she says, oh, are you going to play for us? And we went, yeah. yeah. And then we were halfway through the flight, and she says, uh, when are you going to play? And we thought, oh, I thought you were joking. And then so, so we did a, a whistle, whistle, I took a out fiddle, whistle, fiddle, and, bora, the piano, yeah. and that's it. So we've got photographs of us playing on Key Share yeah. in-house entertainment. Yeah. Bought it at an auction at the Mason Club. Chester County Sheriff painted on the side. Shot coat of primer and he took it outside. When did we meet Ralph? R Ralph was early on. He was about. Um, very early on. I mean, Andy. I'm talking about when we were still when Andy playing was with. Still. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, when yeah. Chris was still there. He was there. He was there. Yeah, he yeah. Was there at the same time. So we met Ralph. We played and Rosemary. in Rosemary. We played in their villa. That's right. We played in their villa. Ralph, Ralph is such a relax. perfectionist, yeah. and he's, he's worked so hard with such a difficult lineup of instruments and combination of instruments. You, you are working on this, aren't you, right now? <laughs> <laughs> well, 
like, if I known I put the shades on, it would look cool. <laughs> I'm actually a famous blind blues singer. <laughs> Rebecca was married to Chris, the drummer, mm, yeah. and she acted as our manager. Yeah. Uh, that's your agent. <laughs> Can you hold on? <laughs> <laughs> it's not. <laughs> It is. It's still uh, okay. it is. Yeah. Anyway, Rebecca kept us on and, and she organized our game. We have to mention Claire, an Irish girl that was out here, did sessions with us, you remember? And she uh, she she was with us for about a year, and she lovely voice, hadn't she? Yes, and we but... But... Gormless. <laughs> <laughs> where's my key? Where's my guitar? Where's, where's my, my head? Where's my plectrum? <laughs> where's my capo? Where are we going now? Where's your capo? <laughs> where's your and where's the capo I borrowed from you? And, and where's my... <laughs> where my teeth? Where's my friend? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Big Kevin, do you remember the night Big Kevin was there and he yes. was wearing the big green hat, do you remember? Very but it was much. a great night and, and yeah. Yeah, I always remember that one. He had that song, Killing Me Softly or something like that he sang and it it, it usually lasts for three minutes. I think he, he dragged, he dragged it on dragged about 20 on. minutes. You That's know? true. Yeah, yeah. Sure. And I hope you like me hat. Do you, do you know the chords? We're not finished yet. I heard he had a good song. Rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> what worries me most about the future is that is, is Jed. Why? Because he's going to want to play he wants that to flute. flute. You know what I would do? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do know what you do. Oh, sorry, Jed. <laughs> But it's just brilliant to see all the, all the changes that I've gone through, and we still got some of the songs from the start. We're Jed, still doing Jed's moustache. Jed had a moustache, yeah. which fell off somehow. <laughs> I think it probably wasn't real from the start. <laughs> I don't think anything was real. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the muscles worked. <laughs> Out of a bottle. Uh, the I'm um, joking, Jed. Don't drive with Jed. No. Although he no, does no. go through red lights when he's diddly dean. Uh, Jed is the one who kept the, he kept the band together. Yeah, and he, he brings out new stuff. He's always the one that's doing it, and yeah. you need to do that again. Uh, well, he's great. He's great. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor, we discovered him in the speakeasy sessions, and he was not playing the bass, and it came to us as quite a surprise that he was a very, very good bass guitarist. You know, <laughs> stop clutching that damn thing on me. <laughs> he filled the gap beautifully once. Dave had left.